Good morning, good morning. My name is Sarah from PI. I'm going to be giving the art class today. So today we're going to be working on this puppet. It's in your packet. And the one you got uh, maybe a Friday ago or two, fri or two Fridays ago. Okay. It's already in your packet. So we have, you have this one. And maybe you have a black and white one, okay? I think I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to look for it. I don't think they have a colored one. I think it's in oh, okay. black and white, too. Like so go find this one in your packet, guys. Okay. Yes, you go ahead and, and look for it. Let me know when you have it, okay? If you found it, you can, um, you found it, Elisa? Yeah, but we're going to be doing this one, okay? The puppet. Good job, April. Anybody else has it? Okay, so if you have it, all right, we're going to start uh, coloring it, okay? We're going to start coloring it. Um, you can color it whatever color you, colors you want to use, but this is a sample of a colored one, okay? And this is your outcome. <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to be working on today. Okay, so... If you guys don't have this, you can make your own puppet, okay? You can make a, a circle, put some eyes on it, a nose, maybe draw some teeth on it, and then you can fold that one. It's real easy to do, okay? All right, so we're gonna start coloring. <clears throat> I'm going to put the camera down. And we're going to start coloring. Oops, I got the wrong crayon. Go with your. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember. Just trace on the line. See, mine's not perfect. <laughs> trace around the line like this, like I'm doing. Okay, just go on the line. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's a uh, green dinosaur stores, there's brown dinosaurs. I even seen uh, orange, red, purple cartoons that you guys watch or movies, they put them different colors. So you guys can use whatever colors you want. It doesn't have to be green. I'm only doing green because the sample's green, but you don't have to, okay? There's different colors. All right, and then we'll go around the eyes. Uh, 
And then we're gonna color it in. I'm gonna color here. I always like to trace mine first. It makes it easier so I don't come out of the line. Okay, so go on the line. Like I said, guys, if you guys don't have this one, we can make another one. You can make your own. Okay, just kind of color a character and a piece of paper. Now we're gonna start coloring it, coloring it in, okay? Color it in. Oh, I forgot the little part right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best, that's all. Okay. Color everything like this. It has little lines right here, but right now ignore those lines because we're gonna be, that's where you're gonna fold after, okay? So, but just keep coloring, it doesn't matter. Color, color. Like that. Go around the eye. Try not to color inside the eye because those don't go green. We'll make those, uh, we'll leave those white. Maybe we can color the eye a different color if you want your dinosaur to have different color eyes. You have to have your own imagination, okay? When you color, it doesn't have to be uh, it could be any different color, okay? It doesn't have to be the colors that we normally see on dinosaurs. You could do it Whatever color you want. Scientists don't know what color dinosaurs were. <laughs> they could have been purple and pink. You never right? know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T-Rexes wouldn't look as scary if they were like a bright pink, though. Because <laughs> we, we see cartoons and they have all kinds of different colored dinosaurs. <laughs> or movies, the movies that... I see purple, I see all kinds of different colors. So I'll leave that to your imagination, guys. See, so we started the face. Now I'm gonna do the body. Well, oh, this one has yellow, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do the body. The body, the hands, you see, like that, and then the feet, right? Color the feet. All right, now I'm gonna start coloring it, coloring it in, okay? Are you guys coloring along? For all of you that found this paper, I hope all you guys did, whoever did it, we can make your own puppet. Let me color the other hand. 
Breathe. The color of the feet. The tail. All right. So, so far I have this. See? Now I'm going to do the little part right here in the body, okay? You can do it whatever color you want. Okay. I like purple, so I'm going to do mine purple. And go around the line, trace the line. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna color the inside. The insect purple. If you don't have crayons, you can use markers. If you have paint and are willing to wait for it to dry, you can do that also. Okay, guys. Okay, so I have this so far. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do the inside of the mouth, this area. Remember that it's three different colors. This is light pink, the tongue's red, and the inside circle is like burgundy with a little darker color of burgundy inside, or you can use black to make this look black, okay? <clears throat> so, we are going to use, I have this pink right here. I'm gonna go around the teeth. I'm not gonna color the teeth pink. And this, then this dinosaur is gonna have to go brush his teeth, right? <laughs> All right, let's color it. Color, color around the teeth. Try not to get the teeth, but if you do, it's okay. No big deal. I hope you guys can hear me with, I have my mask on, so it's kind of hard. But uh, we go around it. Around it. That would be the inside of your mouth or his mouth. Go around the, the teeth. And then we go to the bottom. Try not to color this part here or here because those are different colors. If you do, by accident, it's okay. But if you could go around the teeth, around the tongue, that'd be great. I'm gonna go. Go around the tongue area and color. See? All right. I'm going to stop a little bit so I can see your progress. Can I see you guys' progress? Who's coloring it? Good job, Conchita. Yes, that's it. 
I like the colors you chose. Red. Red dinosaur. Nice. That's cool. Uh, who else is working on it? Let me see. Emmy, let me see yours. Elisa did. Uh, oh, wow. Color it, okay? You can use whatever colors you want. Nice. Elisa. Good job, Elisa. Nice. Emmy, show it again. So we. Emmy, let me see yours. Good oh. job. Nice. Good job, Marcos. Good job, Marcos. Good job. Uh, Cynthia, let me see yours. Cynthia, Cynthia. Oh, awesome. All right. Good Cynthia. job, guys. Let's get back to it. Now we're going to be coloring the tongue area. I'm going to find the red, my crayon. All right, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use this one. It doesn't have a name, but it's red, like a dark red. It looks more like a cherry color. <laughs> but this this dinosaur is kind of mad, I guess. <laughs> it's a crocodile. It's a crocodile. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> It it's comes from the same family, crocodiles, dinosaurs. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever you want it to be, guys. It's just going to be a cute crocodile or dinosaur, whatever you want it to be. They're from the same family, they all come <laughs> They all come from the same, the same family. You could do your tongue red or whatever color you want to use. Be creative, guys. You guys could be creative. It's all to your imagination. It doesn't have to be like, like the same as mine. It could be different. All right, we're gonna do the inside. And I said it was gonna be a little dark. So I'm gonna use this one that looks kind of like black to do the inside. No, that's purple. Mm. I'll use the, i use this one. It's like a, a darker pink. We'll go around it. And this one is darker, should be darker than the other one. So we're just going to do it dark. So we kind of press on it, press on the color to make it darker. But again, it's up to you, however you want your crocodile to look or dinosaur to look. I'm gonna use the same crayon for the outside, but I'm gonna do it lighter this time. So we just do it lighter. Good job, everybody. You guys are doing an awesome job. Good job. Awesome. And the teeth, the teeth stay white, okay? Because the teeth are white. Unless you want to color them yellow, orange, <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. So after we color it, if you guys have the whole thing covered, colored, we're going to cut it, okay? Now we're going to start doing the cutting. We're gonna use our scissors, be careful, please don't cut yourself. And we're gonna start cutting around it now. So be careful with the scissors and just go around the line. Go around the line. 
Make sure you don't cut the hands off. Go around the hands. It tells you on the paper that we sent out, it gives you directions right here, okay? As well. So if we go around it, And then we go around the line. We go around the line. We go around the eyes. Right here, we stop right there. We go that little part right there. We go around it again on the eye area. Go in a circle. And then we go around it again. This one's easy because it goes straight. And we go around and here again, around the hand area. Don't don't cut the hands off, because <laughs> then you're gonna have a crocodile with no hands. <laughs> you know crocodiles have hands, the real ones. That's how they walk. And then we go around the body area and we get to the tail area and cut it. Don't cut the don't cut the tail, but cut the so it should look like this, okay? It should look Good job, like Cynthia. Good job, Cynthia. And it comes with Conchita's working on hers too. It comes with two little straps, guys. You guys are gonna cut those, okay? You guys see this? Cynthia, Marcos, van a cortar estos palitos, okay? Son dos. Van a ser dos. Yes, Cynthia, you're gonna cut those, okay? Everybody else, we're gonna cut those. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna cut those. And then Um, you should have two, two straps for the back, okay? Okay. So this is what you're going to end up with. Two straps for the back of your puppet. Okay, guys, here... Remember the lines that were on the on the paper? You see the little lines by the mouth? You're gonna fold there. You're gonna fold backwards like this. Have it have it upside down, and then you're gonna fold backwards. Right on the line that's that's on there. There's a line that you see on there. Okay. And then it has a line in the middle. If you see it here, you're going to fold that one forward. Right on the line. It has a line right there. You, you can see it. So fold that one forward. And the last part of the, of the crocodile, it has another line in the bottom. Or you're gonna fold backwards. So this is what you're supposed to have, okay? 
This is the way it's gonna look. Okay. Okay, so the two top parts, you fold them to the back. This one, you fold it this way. This one, you fold it this way. And the, and the middle part, you fold it inward, okay? So this is, this is what you're gonna have, okay? After that, you're gonna put this, the straps in the back. There, this one has lines too right here. Make sure you guys fold those, fold it in, and fold the other side in too. On good both, job, Marcos. Both what happened? No, oh, I was saying good job, Marcos. Sorry. Oh, okay. Good job, Marcos. On both straps, guys, make sure you fold the, the tip of it. You're going to fold this one too. Okay. And you're going to put them on the back of your crocodile. Okay, you see how this one is? It has one on this side and it has one on this side. You see that? So you can use, um, you can use glue if you have glue. If you have a glue stick, I'm gonna use tape today just to show you guys that you can also do it with tape, improvise. Uh, so one of them goes there. Let me see, so you guys can see. And then we're gonna put the other strap. It has to be a little up because you're gonna put your hands through there. Okay, so we're gonna turn it and I'll do the, other, the opposite side. We're gonna put the next strap. And we're gonna do the next one. Okay, this is what you're gonna have. Okay. After you do the last step, that's it guys. You put your fingers in through here and your thumb in through the other one. And you make it talk. See? Hi, Marcos. See, guys? Look, Cynthia. Look. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. My name is Poncho. What's your name? <laughs> Look, guys. Good job, Marcos. Good job, Cynthia. You did a good job. Hi, guys. Look at me. Look, look. Hi, hi. Ponle los charts. Oh, si le pusiste estos atrás, Marcos? Okay, good job. Si, pónselos aquí atrás, mira, para que le metan los dedos. Y el thumb, your thumb. Y tus fingers aquí. And you make it talk. Good job, guys. Let me see who else got it. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Elisa. Can I see your work, Elisa? <laughs> Did you make a puppet? Put it on the camera. I can't see it. You guys are doing so good. Good job, Jose. Good job, Elisa. Awesome. Oh, good job. Good job. Conchita, let me see yours. Let me see your puppet. Good job, Elisa. Nice. You did your own. Oh, good, good job. job, Elisa. Good job, Jose and Marco. Good job, Jose. That's awesome. Cynthia. 
Hello, my name is Poncho. Denzel, did you do it? No. Oh, nice. Good job. Where's yours, Emmy? You still working on it? Oh, okay. You can have your mom or dad help you cut that out. Yes. Cut it and make sure you guys fold it where you're supposed to fold it and you'll get a puppet out of it. Okay, guys. We need Steve Irwin here to tell us how beautiful the crocodiles are. A little crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everybody. You guys all did a great job. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Alma, did you do it? No, I don't think she did. <laughs> oh, nice, April. Awesome. Good job. Yes. Very nice, April. Good job. Good job. Any questions, anybody? Yes, now you have a little puppet. <laughs> Any questions? Good job. Yes. Exactly like that, April. Oh, wow. See? Is this the only project that you today, Sarah? What happened? Thank you, guys, for everything. Bye, guys. Bye.